Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Suvi to yourself. For today's project, I'm going to share you one of the most easiest and beautiful yoke style umbrella kurti with fabric puzzles for the back neck. For that, I'm using contrast fabrics. This green color is 3 meter and this one is 2 meter and also I have taken the lining for that. And the lining is 2 meter and this one is 1 meter. Now, the total length of my kurti is 47 inch which includes borders and bottom. Firstly, I'll show you how to cut the borders. I have already cut out the required length for the borders. This is the lining fabric. And the length of the borders is, here I am taking 16 inch which includes seam allowance. This is the open side. You will get four layers here. And this is closed side. The first one is for front portion and the other is for the back portion. Now draw a straight line to trim the raw edges. Mark 6.5 inch. This is my shoulder measurement. Measure your shoulder divided by 2. You will get the answer here I am taking 6.5 inch and my neck width point is 3 inch so just mark this from this point mark half inch down for shoulder slope then join this with the neck width point Now again from here, mark 7 inch down which is my arm hole depth measurement. Take half inch more from the shoulder measurement for the arm hole. So join these points. In my measurement, chest is 40 inch divided by 4 is 10 inch. So, I am marking 10 inch plus 1.5 inch for seam allowance. So, my waist measurement is 34 inch divided by 4 is 8.5 inch. Plus seam allowance. Join these two points. From here, mark off inch or one inch, then draw a back arm hole curve. Then again from here mark off inch inwards. Then here also you have to mark off inch inwards and join this here. Then draw a front arm hole curve. Now from the bottom mark some 1 inch above. Then draw a slight curve. Now I am going to cut this. Mark the center notch. Now separate the back portion and for the front portion trim the front arm bowl. Now I'll show you how to cut the neck portion for both front and the back. Firstly I have taken the back portion. So mark 8 inch here. This is the back portion. Now I'll draw a round neckline for the back portion. 
then cut this this is how it looks now I'll show you how to cut the neck for the front portion now I'll show you the front portion so from this point mark 13 inch and again from here mark 4.5 inch then join this so here I will attach the yoke part so exactly draw the neck like this Now I am going to cut this. After that I will place this in the contrast fabric and I will cut the bodice part, I mean yoke part. I have taken the contrast fabric and I have folded the fabric by half in width. Now place this here. This is the folded side and just trace it. So from this point mark 2 inch this is up to you here I am marking 2 inch join this now from here mark 5.5 inch extend these points. Now I am going to draw the round neckline. I am going to trim exactly like this. Now cut this. I have finished cutting this is how it looks now I'll place this in the lining fabric and I'll cut it fold the fabric by half and width then place this and trace it and then cut it now I'll trace the lining on the main fabric so I have taken the main fabric and I have folded this by half in width. This is the back portion. Just place it and trace it. Now cut it. Repeat the same for the front portion borders as well. I have finished cutting the bodice portion. Now trim the excess fabric. And I am going to show you how to fold the bottom. Just fold this by half in length. This is open side. I am folding this by holding the fabric. exactly like a triangle shape so this is the open side you can see four layers here now I am placing the bodice and I am tracing the waist measurement So mark half inch above, this is for seam allowance. Again from this point mark the length of the bottom which is 27 inch which includes seam allowance.
you know, join these points and then cut it. And also trim here. So this is how it looks. Now I'll show you how to cut the lining for this. Just fold the fabric exactly like this. This is the four layers. Folded side. Now place the borders here and mark the waist measurement. So the length of the bottom is 27 inch. Extend these points. Then join these two points. And then mark some 2 inch or 3 inch above and draw a slide curve. Then cut it. I have taken the contrast fabric for the border and the length of the fabric is 8 inch which includes seam allowance. So what I will do is just open the fabric and place it at the right side. Both the right sides should face each other then make a stretch shape. After attaching this, fold the bottom twice and make a stretch at the inner edge. Now I'll show you how to cut the sleeves. For that, I have taken a piece of fabric and I have already folded this by half and width. Now fold it one more time. Open side. Close it side. Length of my sleeve is 11 inch which includes seam allowance for folding at the bottom. Now draw a straight line to trim the raw edges. So from here mark 3.5 inch down which is the cap height of my sleeve. So extend this point. Again from this point mark 8.5 inch which is my sleeve round then mark the seam allowance. Similarly, for the bottom round, mark 5.5 inch plus seam allowance. Draw a line here for folding the sleeves at the bottom. So now join these points. So now I am drawing the back sleeve. So mark half inch inwards and draw the front sleeve. Then join these two points. Now I am going to cut this. Open the fabric and trim the front sleeve. So this is how it looks. With this my cutting is complete now I will show you how to stitch this. Firstly, I have taken the back portion main fabric and the lining fabric. I am placing the lining fabric on the front side and make a stitch at the neck. Then turn and make a stitch. Similarly, this is the front portion of the borders. So, I am placing the lining at the right side of the fabric and I will make a stitch at the neck part. After that I will turn and make a stitch. Similarly for the yoke part, just place this at the right side and make a stitch at the neck. Now make a small cut at the neck 
and turn the lining to the wrong side of the fabric. After that, attach the lining with the main fabric. Firstly, make a top stitch. Then attach the lining with the main fabric. Now I have taken the front portion. Make a small cuts at the neck, then turn and make a stretch. Make a top stitch and also attach the lining with the main fabric by attaching all the sides. Now I have taken the back portion. So repeat the same procedure for the back portion as well. Make a top stitch and attach the lining with the main fabric. You can see I have finished attaching the yoke part with the lining and also I have finished the sides. This is how it looks. You can see the back portion. Now I'll show you how to attach this with the front portion borders. Before that, trim the excess fabric. This is the front portion. I finished attaching the lining. So trim the excess fabric. So this is how it looks. Now I'll show you how to attach the yoke part here. Just place this and overlap the shoulder. Then make a stitch exactly here. I have pinned the fabric. Now make a stitch here. So after that fold it once and make a stitch. Now this is the back portion and also I have finished the back portion neckline. I finished attaching the lining with the main fabric so trim the excess fabric. After attaching the yoke part just place the front portion on the back portion and finish the shoulder. Make a stitch here.
Now fold this once and make a stitch. Attach both the shoulders now. Then all of the edges. I finished attaching both the shoulders and also the yoke part with the front portion. Now I'll show you how to attach the sleeves in it. Just check the front portion and the back portion of the sleeve and then match the center of the sleeve with the shoulder and start making a stitch. Repeat the same for the other side of the sleeve as well. After that, fold the sleeve twice and make a stitch at the inner edge for both the sleeves. At first, pin the sleeve with the fabric and then start doing like this. Then start stitching. I have finished attaching the sleeve with the main fabric. Now fold the bottom of the sleeve twice and make a stitch at the inner edge. So repeat the same for the other side of the sleeve as well. I have finished attaching the sleeves with the borders for both the sides and also I have finished attaching the bottom. So this is how it looks. Now I will show you how to stitch the bottom portion. Length is 8 inch. Now I am going to attach this contrast fabric at the bottom of the main fabric. Just arrange it and place the right side of the border under the main fabric facing each other and make a stitch here. After that turn and make a top stitch then fold the edge twice and make a stitch at the inner edge. I have finished attaching. Now fold the bottom twice and make a stitch. Make a top stitch. I have finished attaching the border for both the front and the back portion bottom. So now I will show you how to attach this with the lining. Just place the lining on top of it. Place the main fabric and make a stitch at the waist point. I finished attaching. Now fold the bottom of the lining twice and make a stitch. So repeat the same for the other side of the bottom as well. I finished attaching the lining with the main fabric for both front and the back portion. So this is how it looks. 
and also I have finished the bottom. Now I will show you how to attach the borders with the bottom. Just place the front portion here, both are right sides. Now turn this, match the center of the borders and also the bottom, then make a stitch here. So similarly for the back portion also, match the center and the right sides, then turn this and make a stitch here. So I finished attaching, you can see I have overlapped the edges as well. Now make a top stitch, so repeat the same procedure for the back portion as well, you can see. I finished attaching the front portion. This is how it looks. I finished attaching the borders with the bottom for both front and the back portion. Now I will show you how to attach the sides. For that turn the fabric to the wrong side and adjust it. Now starting from the sleeve round mark till the waist. Then draw like this. So starting from here make a stitch up to this point. After this point make a stitch exactly like this. Then take only the main fabric after attaching this just lift the main fabric I mean lift the lining fabric and make a stitch at the main fabric till the bottom. After that just close this and take only the lining fabric and start making a stitch. So repeat the same for the other side as well. So stitch up to this point then lift the pressure foot and turn the fabric and start making a stitch exactly like this. After this just lift the lining fabric. Now start making a stitch only on the main fabric. So I have finished attaching. Now I'll show you how to attach. Just keep this inside. Now start making a stitch only at the lining. So repeat the same procedure for the other side as well. For this my stitching is complete. I hope you like this video. If you like it please like, share, subscribe and comment.
this is how it looks thanks for watching